So, when you've got a Cascadia, new or old, and you've got a damaged or melted connector, in my case, the little locking tab inside there is broken. Sometimes you'll find it melted due to overheating, any, any case, really. There are two styles you can get. One that's going to cover and lock at the very top, or one that's gonna cover and lock on the sides. This one is a style that locks from the top, and the style that we're gonna replace it with locks on the sides. It's two locking tabs. Here is the part number for a pre-made pigtail. Pretty amazing, right? So, you can get regular butt connectors. I like to do a specific method, which uses these uh, solder sleeves right here. These butt connectors, these clear solder sleeves, and these black heat shrink. The wire is already loomed up, right? Abrasion tape on there, so that part's good. Now we're gonna figure out how to get this sucker wired okay, in Okay, every time you're gonna do a pigtail or connector and pins, you're gonna wanna check the bulb, check the back of the bulb where the pins line up. That way you know there's no issues with the bulb and this new one isn't gonna be damaged. All right, so I got a stripper, got a wire stripper. Make a dance for you. All right, we got some fray, there we go. We got some fray wires, right? Go ahead and spin them, get them nice and tight. I know it's tempting, but you want to avoid licking them for all you weirdos out there. Okay. My black heat shrink. Get my solder sleeves. In case you want to know why they call them solder sleeves. In the middle, there is a little solder contact. Once it's melted with a uh, stupid heat gun, it's, you get to clamp it down on the on this guy and smush it down, and it makes a solid contact. So with this, I like to just go ahead and push it all the way down. That way, I get some freed up wiring. I can go ahead and get this on here. Check the wires. We got some crimpers. Now we're doing it right here just to make it so much easier for when it goes on the vehicle. Alright, so once it's in, squeeze the hell out of it. Beautiful, barely anything sticking out. It's going through. The same thing on this side. In fact, I want to cut it just a little bit shorter. All right. As you can see, it's got a little groove to sit in. If you don't have a pair of these, they really come in handy. Okay, perfect. Squeeze the hell of it. And that's what we got. So now we can go over to the truck. All right, so we're gonna take that connector and wire it in. We're gonna go ahead and just cut it so we can see which ones go where. The green is on the left. And we put our new one on. And make sure you got it oriented correctly for that locking tab. The locking, uh, not the locking tab, that space. That's gonna be up top. It only goes in there one way. So what we're gonna do right here is just kind of cut this open so we can see the wires. I got a seam ripper here, which I got on Amazon or eBay, I don't know, one of those. And it really helps out going through the abrasion tape and the black tape. get started in there and you can usually just go rip. Sometimes you rip the wire and well then you know what you gotta fix. Okay. See? Pretty easy, right? Man, what a great example. Alright. Cut off the tape. Got some 
tape on here. You guys ever tried Buffalo Wild Wings? Man, that's what I'm thinking about right now. That place is good. Fresh, of course. You get it to go, you don't know what you're gonna get. Some mango habanero, man, that's my favorite. All right, wires are good. We're thinking about food. Beautiful. We said green on the left. Ooh, there it is. Make sure we get the correct wires here. Remember that's gonna face up. Make sure they're in the right order. Sometimes they could be twisted in here. So make sure we got the right one. It's gonna be this one. All right. Squish it down. Beautiful, all right. Next, get your torch, whatever torch you got. This one is actually from Harbor Freight. I think they sell the same thing at Northern Tool, one of those cheap tool companies that do work pretty good. All right. There we go. Line up those solders, boom. So they're right there in the middle. Let's get some heat. Oh, the sucker's moving. As you can see, that solder is melting on there. Once it's nice and melted, I like to give it a little squeeze. Just so it falls right into place, makes better contact. I know I'm weird like that. Very you know when it comes to my work. I like it to look good. I don't want any comebacks. Beautiful. We're going to get both the heat, uh, the black heat trick on there. So while we're waiting here, so this guy came in for, I think it was an ABS light. Didn't even know anything about his headlights. Just got to looking around and all of a sudden, knew that that sucker was burnt. I don't even know if it, I don't even know if he knew that it wasn't even working. Maybe he just didn't want to say anything, he wanted to hurry up. But you know what, while we're here, we're gonna get it fixed. We like to make sure everything's right. All right, you see that anti-corrosion material coming out of it? Cool, it is good to go. We're gonna set that aside. We're gonna get our uh, wrap back up. Damn. There we go. Cool. We're gonna get some uh, anti-abrasion abrasion tape. It looks like this, wire wrap tape. I mean, you could use black tape, but I like to use the uh, stuff that came from factory. And I'm gonna wrap this up just to make it look even better. And then it'll be good. All right, I got that abrasion tape. I don't know if you can see a part number in there. Hopefully that helps. Like I said, this one, that's what they use from the factory. It works out pretty good. Uh, it's cooled down a little bit, so I can actually touch it now without getting burned. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Beautiful. Oh, so that's that. If I can leave it like this, what? I like appearances, so I'm just going to slap a little bit of this on there, just so it looks a little bit cleaner. I know it's protected, I know either way it's going to be good, but like I said, I want it to look good. So a little bit of tape, just to make sure it's not going anywhere. Set it, get it to lock on the headlights. All right, one handed. Oh, hold on. Apparently, I'm not going with my hands. Okay. Good to get up there. 
beautiful. We're gonna slide the sucker down and we're gonna get it onto place. But first, let's make sure it works. And it works. That's what I'm talking about. Everything's in there perfectly. All right, so the job is all you gotta do. Got that on there nice and secure. If you got any extra wiring, just go ahead and tie it off. Make sure these clips are good. Make sure it's not going anywhere. Make sure it's not rubbing. If this is an old Cascadia, you don't have to worry about this heat shield that I took off. If it's a new one, you're gonna want to just put that back on, and it's just four bolts. This just got four hold downs. Right, little cheap ass bolts. That's it. If it is a new Cascadia, make sure you put that back on because it will cause a lot of heat to go over there and possibly cause a fire to occur. Uh, but that's all it takes. If you guys have so any questions, is, right? If you guys got any questions, let me know. If you guys want to see anything, you let me know. We'll get this figured out one way or another. Stay safe, stay grinding, and we'll catch you next time.